Good evening and welcome to the show. Tonight's show live from the Coletta Hotel here in Gibraltar. And on my right, the lovely Anna Sitonsky. Thank you very much, Anna, for agreeing to do this masterclass yeah, at Short Lotus. Thank you, it's my pleasure. To say. Um, Anna is the reigning US women's champion. She's won that title four times. And she's been here to Gibraltar. Well, I guess so, at least four times. How many times have yes, you been here? Yes, it's my first time here. Also your fourth time. All right. Yes, four times in a row. You're here with your husband, Danielle Friedman? Yes, it's his third time for here. It's his third time. <laughs> Hang on, you've been here more times than your husband? Yes, first time I was alone, so oh, okay. I <laughs> checked. It was very good, <laughs> and I brought him next year. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So um, Anna um, is going to show us a game, but not from the games that she's played so far this year here in Gibraltar, but a game from... Uh, from Reykjavik, I think, 2004, Anna, is that Yes, correct? yeah. So I'll sort of pass it over to you, and then we'll, um, we'll probably take uh, questions from the audience during the game and afterwards as well, and we'll have a little chat. I just forgot. Grab the microphone that's sitting there and get it to your shirt, please. <laughs> okay. Well, Macaulay's in charge of this. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> uh, we've got wine, we've got, uh, we've got everything okay. here for a good show. So, um, like this? Yeah. I was actually going to ask you, just before we get uh, ready to start here, about um, your blind Can you hear me uh, now? Yes, we can <laughs> hear you. That you're, you're a bit of an expert, I gather, at, at blindfold chess. Yes, I've done uh, some blindfold simuls. I know usually people are very fascinated with it. I played in St. Louis this year. I wanted to play in Gibraltar, but I played Bundesliga right before. Right. So remember, we were talking about coming earlier, but yes, I played Bundesliga. Right. Yeah? And you know who did the blindfold simul instead of you? Who did? I did. You did? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a disaster. <laughs> how <laughs> many boards did you play? I played four players and I lost two and a half, one and a half. Wow. But how strong they were? Uh, well, no. <laughs> the four sponsors, actually. Four, uh, four of our sponsors. Oh. So, um, it was anyway. But I've never done one before, and I have to say, how many boards can you play blindfold? Okay, in my life, uh, I don't know. I played officially, I played like 10 boards. Wow. Okay, not that officially, when I was working uh, in New York in my chess club, I played 10. But officially in St. Louis, uh, I did seven. Seven games blindfold simultaneously yes. against what kind of opposition? Uh, usually from um, 1300 till 1700, maybe till 1800. And is that so something that you've sort of gradually built up to that number, or is it something you've, al you've always had a talent for? Or how did you get into <laughs> blindfold chess? You know, how did you start doing it? Okay, my, uh, first of all, my father was coaching me, and uh, he thinks it's very good to like, practice to, for your chess skills. And mm. when I was a child, I was promoting blindfold Lepon, I remember. <laughs> when I was eight, and then I played uh, some um, back in Ukraine, some blindfold chess, and then I, I know that people really enjoy, you know, to see the lady playing blindfold, they usually cover eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think it's very interesting for chess pub uh, publicity. Sure, yeah, absolutely, yes. Yes, yeah, so um, Okay, brilliant. Right, so we'll have a little chat after the game as well, maybe, Anna. Um, yeah. So, off you go, let's have a look. So I would like to show my game, probably one of my best game wi games, which I played uh, eight years ago in Reykjavik. So my opponent uh, played g3. Okay, I will not criticize him for playing, playing this move. Usually it transports to different lines. Just, I'm sorry, just, just tell us who you're playing here. Who you playing? I, I'm playing uh, Jan Vatave, Grandmaster from Czech Republic, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's, uh, for me it was pretty strong, higher rated than me. So. When y usually it's how I'm teaching uh, kids, uh, if you can play e4, e4, d4, or for black e5, d5, just do it, because it's always good, it cannot be bad. Okay, this is a question, why a strong opponent let me control the center in the middle of the... Right, right from first move. What do you think, why did he do it? Why did he let me control the center? Yeah, so you're asking the audience, Anna? Yes. <laughs> Anyone in the audience? So afterwards with his other pieces and stuff. <laughs> pawns, most <laughs> likely pawns, right? <laughs> hey, by the way, Nigel Short today in his game uh, on board two, did you see what he played? <laughs> no, I didn't. He played 1b3. <coughs> b3, okay, so we yeah. cannot criticize for playing g3. Again, Sultan Al Masi, 1b3. And he won the lead. No, he drew. It was a draw, that game was a draw. Yeah. But what was after e5 or d5? I didn't see what happened after b3. <laughs> <laughs> I turned away. <laughs> Okay, so my opponent uh, wants to fight for the center with his pawns. So he played c4. So I don't know, after if I would play c6, he would start probably push more, more pressure on my center, playing, okay, let's see. Playing, uh, playing knight c3 or taking a knight c3, queen uh, b3 possible. So uh, I decided that probably I will not be able to hold the center. That's why I took on c4. So knight a3, 
knight f6. And the question is, uh, if I would take bishop a3, which was also also possible, besides move for uh, b takes a3, what kind of alternative uh, white has? Yes, queen a4, queen take a3. So I realize maybe I don't want to get some extra pawns and just getting my pieces out in the center. Okay, knight of strikes. Bishop, bishop c5. So I got pieces on pretty comfortable squares. And in this situation, it's already, I don't know which move uh, white should play here because obviously if knight f3, then I will play e4. And uh, if d3, castle, knight f3, and again e4 is also possible. So that's why it's probably, I don't know, not that easy already for white. And that's why my opponent realized to take pawn on e5. Okay, so of course queen d4 is not working because of knight d3. Take, take, and I got peace back. So this is a critical moment of this position. The question is, uh, who is better and why? This question I asked myself during the game. And uh, obviously it's, uh, it's very difficult to say. Uh, white has uh, certain advantages in position and black has. What do you think, what is, kind of, what is good here for white? Two bishops. Yes, two bishops and position is open, right? Yeah. But what is the problem for white? Castle. Cannot castle. So, this is a, uh, in this game I'm going to attack. That's why my opponent let me sacrifice on f2, so he thought he would able to trade exchange queens. <coughs> so queen a4 check, knight bd7, and queen f4. And um, in, thi in this situation, of course, if he will exchange queens, probably white will do okay, or even better. So. It's a moment, uh, it's a question for me. Sh sh should I exchange queens or sacrifice a pawn? Sacrifice. Okay, <laughs> sacrifice. If I would change uh, queens, it wouldn't be my best game, probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> so. Is this the best game of your life or one of the best okay, games? One of the best games, it's okay. hard to say. Okay, one of the best I games. I hope my best game is still ahead of me. <laughs> 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 so that's why I decided to keep queens on the board. And my opponent, pretty, pretty strong grandmaster, he let me sacrifice on f2 because he thought he will be able to exchange queens. And he will do absolutely fine in position with, uh, in open position with two bishops. Can I just ask you, you, I mean, this game was, what, eight years ago. Can you still remember uh, sort of the emotions you had at the time or the kind of okay, I feelings about I the pos Yes, I remember positions? emotions in the end of the <laughs> by the end of the by game. By the end of the game. And mm. I have shown this position many times. So, so this game, it's... Mm. Uh, okay. I was uh, teaching a lot, and uh, I'm still teach, do a lot of teaching now, and of course, uh, this is the game just shows some strategical ideas. Because very often people, uh, chess players ask me, what is more important to study, tactics or strategy? <laughs> what do you think? Tactics. Tactics or strategy? Someone says tactics. No tactics, audience. only tactics, no other opinions. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Yeah, both. Of course, uh, of course, <laughs> absolutely right. Of course, both important. And this is game is just a, a combination of strategy and tactics. So far, it was uh, pretty much strategy. I realized I need my queens on the board, and of course, in a certain period of this game, I will, uh, I will need to show some calculation skills too. So, of course, it was positional sacrifice. I played queen e6 and uh, queen, takes a, queen takes a 7. It's absolutely positional sacrifice because there is a no direct checkmate, there is no direct threat. And uh, this is very positional. I realize that king uh, will be in the middle and it will may be very, very difficult to hide and to find like safe place for the king. And maybe in future I will be able to develop attack. And this is de definitely some strategical sacrifice. Maybe he thought he could just play knight a3 and castles. <laughs> 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 okay, at least I didn't consider this opportunity for him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was my turn and I castled. Okay, seriously, I didn't consider uh, bishop uh, takes b7 because it should be something after bishop b7, bishop b7, queen b7. It's, uh, because almost all my pieces in the game and uh, it's very difficult to hide king. So 
That's why, um, look at my bishop on c8 is, uh, I need a lot of time to get it in the, in the game. So my opponent played b3. I think the reason why he didn't play knight f3, because now will, he will need to weaken uh, uh, light squares. After rook e1, now he has to play e3, and uh, light squares are very weak. Of course, it would be another game. So he played b3. Maybe he, maybe he could try knight h3 to f4. Mm -hmm. It's a bit strange, but you need to, to gain some time. Yes, probably this was another opportunity. So I would play rook e8, knight a4, and uh, queen a6. So something like this, probably. <coughs> and then the same knight e5. Mm. So my opponent played b3, and this is very natu natural move, because after knight e5, his idea was to exchange knights. Because when you have uh, some material advantage, you are trying to exchange pieces. That's what he was trying to do, knight f3. Now, do I want to exchange knights? No. <coughs> no, of course, I'm trying to attack, and uh, I'm trying to keep uh, some attacking pieces on the board. And of course, now it's a strategy and some calculation skills. I had to calculate line knight f3. Uh, king of one, and the question is how to get another piece in the game. Knight d5? Mm -hmm. Knight d5. Uh. No. Okay, knight d5, probably queen, uh, queen c3 or queen c4. Mm. No, now it comes some. Uh, okay, uh, Calculation. It's a rookie eight, and I had to calculate that uh, it's impossible to take a knight. It's not very difficult. Just okay. And uh, queen uh, queen d one, or maybe knight g four is also possible. Okay, but I calculated variation. Queen d one is good enough. Queen d one, bishop of one, it's good enough. So I played rook e8, knight d4, queen g4. Here I, I calculated uh, two moves for white. It's queen c4 and queen c3. And uh, I, re this, I remember my feeling during the game. I saw the move queen c4. I, I, so ch I saw here already very nice checkmate. Queen c4, now I'm getting one more piece in the game, which is the most natural move. Once again, when you are playing a game and you don't see concrete win, when you don't see concrete variations, just uh, play normal moves, get your pieces out, bring closer to the king, and then it cannot be bad. And here the move which I calculated for him was knight f3. And uh, once again, it's easy, easy to calculate when you know some strategy. I know that white will tr try here to exchange queens. If white will exchange queens, so maybe this will be no, no attack for me. So now I'm asking you to find some nice combination. What, rook takes e8? Rook takes e2, you mean, yeah. E2, 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 yeah. Rook takes E2, King takes E2. Uh, <laughs> I forgot myself. Rook E8 check. King of 1. Uh, um, <laughs> Queen takes F3. Bishop of 3. Um, uh, Bishop H3 check. Hey. Is that right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> King G1. <laughs> and then Rook. E1 check? Yes. Does that work? Mates. Yeah, very good, very okay. good. So did you follow the variation? Queen takes, uh, rook e2. Of course, if queen g4, I, at least I have rook e2 and... Uh, <coughs> so rook f2 and now I will probably win and because uh, white piece is undeveloped and its ma material is equal. And maybe you could play rook a8, sir. Rook e8, wow, maybe. Can I play rook e8? <laughs> Ooh. 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 Yeah. Maybe. 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 Okay, Bishop H3. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <it's laughs> too much. Mm. 
Anyway, black is winning, yeah? Yeah, anyway, black is winning. So that's why I calculated variation. I was pre pretty happy in the game. But unfortunately, my opponent almost spoiled this. Queen sacrifice. Bishop h3, king g1, and rook e1 checkmate. So uh, you asked me about my feeling during the game. Mm, I was pretty yes. happy to find this uh, checkmate, and I was a bit disappointed when my opponent played queen c3. <laughs> <laughs> so any, anyway, there is uh, no, uh, no concrete lines. Of course, I tried to calculate, and I got my bishop out. And uh, next move, uh, what is my threat? The last piece which is not uh, participating in the game. <coughs> yes, rook c8. I would very happy to bring uh, this uh, rook into the game. And my opponent played. Okay, can I hide notation? Yeah, ah, you cannot see it, right? Great. They can't see it. Excellent. Excellent. So my <laughs> opponent played bishop of three. It just looks like, and I just to sort of pause, it looks like the white's broken the sort of basic rule of development. And for only for one pawn, it's only a pawn, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, sometimes there's many sacrifices. So sometimes and many openers were, what about Slav Gambit? Just for mm. one pawn, <laughs> you're weakening in the uh, dark squares and... Uh, no, what I mean is it looks, really, it looks really good for black. It looks like... Yeah, it's, it looks very good for black, but there is no concrete uh, lines. What to do after bishop of three, for example? Yeah, look... look it's lo it looks very good for black, but still I was uh, able to prove uh, my pawn sacrifice. Sorry, I was very happy to prove that my pawn sacrifice was correct. And it was not easy in this game. So after bishop f3, I don't know. First of all, my, if I would play bishop queen g6, my knight on d3 is under attack, right? And probably I had perpetual if I would play queen h3. King g1. Ah, oh, queen h3 or bishop g2, a kind of perpetual attack. Maybe queen h5. Could you play queen h3 check, bishop g2, queen h5? Bishop f3. Well, I didn't know. I was thinking of checking on h3 with the bishop, but maybe it doesn't doesn't really work. Anyone in the audience here have a suggestion for black? Black smooth. Black smooth. Uh, rook e2. Rook e2, uh huh. Bishop, bishop takes g4, probably. Rook e1, king g2. Knight e4? No, right? No. Well, we okay, have suggestion from online. Okay, mm, great. 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 Uh, Geek Chess gives a line. Uh, queen takes f3. Queen takes f3, knight is, uh, takes f3. This Bishop is h3 check. <laughs> King g1, rook e1. Pawn is on it too. Ah, uh, yeah, Geek Chess. Didn't <laughs> see that. <laughs> All right, and queen h3 check, another person suggests? Okay, the first uh, one was almost right, almost correct. Uh-huh. Oh, that's great that people are, you know. Well, the, the other idea from... Just tweeting and things. Other idea from Silent Rook was uh, queen h3 check, and then if bishop g2 sacrifice the queen on g2. I don't know uh, what the follow-up mm -hmm. is there, but uh, <laughs> that's the suggestion. <laughs> how do you okay. see, Anna, at this point, I mean, how do you... What happens next? I can see what happens next here, but uh, <laughs> had you foreseen it? Okay, of course I was very happy, you know, mm. like I was remembering some uh, games from Forever Green games and mm. uh, Stainitz games. <laughs> I was very happy with this combination and uh, first of all I was uh, like, is it working? Is it working? Like, I double check myself mm. maybe more times, so... Well, just leave it for now. D don't tell us yet. Anyone else in the audience before we... See and how of the course, game I checked this game with computers. Everything is working. Mm. 
Anyone else here in our audience? Meanwhile, Geek Chess says, don't! <laughs> Actually, I think the first one from internet was almost right. It Close. Just Maybe he meant not rookie one, but <laughs> the move in the game. Getting a clue. All right, last chance, then you're going to have to show it. Black too to play. Too slow. Black to play. Come on, Anna. Anybody, how about our live audience? <laughs> Anyone here? No? OK, actually, it's uh, very similar to previous combination. The only problem, of course, if pawn takes on f3, we already know what kind of checkmate will happen. So knight f3. What to do next? It's no. <laughs> I don't have big choice. Bishop h3, Bishop h3, King g1, and just rook e2. <laughs> So unfortunately, and we're here seeing chess windmill, right? Chess mill. It's not very often happens. Usually, it's just in chess books, right? <laughs> and of course, I like to show you my to my students, which is okay, not very strong. Maybe for you, it will be not that funny. After what to do after Bishop B two? Yeah, it's. Uh, there is a no ch checkmate, but I can take everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can take pawn on a2. <laughs> and now finally, queen. finally rook c2 and queen. So I was like very happy to see it. And this is just call called a windmill because it keeps going around yes. and around the <laughs> exactly. rook. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you can see it in many books, but almost never in your games. So have you ever had, who had a chess windmill in your game? Did you? I'm not sure I have had one. I, I, I probably have, but I don't remember now. <laughs> At least in the annotations, you often have them, don't you? Like yes, in annotation, yes. But in chess <laughs> games, so I, was, I was quite happy with it. And uh, white is hopeless. Wh white is on move, and white cannot do Hey, much. did you ever get a windmill in a blindfold game? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it would be too much, probably. <laughs> So this is a problem, my opponent just to give up a queen playing queen d3. So I was quite happy. And I remember my opponent face because he didn't realize. <laughs> After I took on f3, he said, like, what's going on? Just a knight takes f3 in this situation. And there is an, he's queen up, and there is a no check for him, and he cannot just defend his position. So the rest is just. Uh, so it's white completely lost in this position, yeah? Yes. OK, the rest is couple precise moves. I, I'm pawn up, and still I need to show some technique. So the idea of knight g4, is I wanted to king be in the center. So even in end game, which is uh, king is in the trouble. All on the white squares, huh? everything in yes, the Yes, everything right on the, on the white squares. squares. Yes, uh, uh, so far I consider it one of the most b best game because some strategical ideas was with good calculation <coughs> of variation and everything works in this game. So I punished my opponent like an old time for being greedy and taking hmm. pawns <laughs> in the very beginning. What was his reaction at the end of the game? Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> not really. I remember my feeling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was a bit uh, ha happy to organize such coin sacrifice and very interesting. So it was many years ago and I wish I would play such games in, <laughs> in this tournament. Which has been your best performance since you brought? You've been here now, this is your fourth time. Do you remember, or any, have you beaten any very, I mean you must have beaten some strong grandmasters here. Um, mm -hmm. I mean every year we invite um, players like yourself, top female players in the world. Actually I, I don't remember, I drew so some 2700 okay. but I don't remember. Right. And I, d I don't have a good memory, <laughs> maybe. Mm. <laughs> I hope I forgot. And here I recommend you to check my game against my Sissian. I got checkmated, but very with nice way. <laughs> In this tournament? <laughs> In this tournament, yes. Oh, I saw that. That was, um, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see ch this checkmate until the very end. Wow, so you're recommending a game in which you got mated. That's uh, quite okay, but modest it's of, of you. Chess, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very nice way with some sacrifices. And Who's the point? Of Sissian. Do you have those games here? Oh, okay, just ch check from Gibraltar around the. Around what is. Yeah. Eight? Then I can tell you. Seven. Round six. Round six from Gibraltar. Okay, guys, now I want to show you something funny. Who likes chess puzzles? Yeah. 
Everyone. Everyone does. <laughs> Great. How many seconds you need to solve checkmate in one? Mm. Tricky question. For you two, how many seconds do you need? I would hope about two seconds. Or maybe, two seconds. Maybe five. Okay, maybe but five. then raise your hand. <laughs> or write, write down. Maybe. Guys, how many seconds do you need to solve checkmate in one? Difficult one, difficult one. Maybe not two. I should have said ten or something. But yeah. Come on, audience. <laughs> A mate in ten one. seconds. Ten seconds okay, sounds about uh, right, doesn't it? This is the... This puzzle, I know only one person who solved it really in 10 seconds. It was Maxime Vachir Lagraf. All other grandmaster, I know some grandmaster, it took them five minutes. Five minutes to solve a mate yes, in one? Yes, and three wrong answers. Really? I won't tell his name <laughs> because maybe you will never invite him in Gibraltar. Hang on, how can you get the wrong answer for a mate in one? Yes, <laughs> okay, you have to write down <laughs> and we will check you. All Guys, right. ready? So this is a real competition this here. This is a real competition, Just but of course the position is very wild. Very extremely difficult, like many bishops. Are you ready? Did you compose this position? Now no, I didn't. I didn't. No, you didn't <laughs> compose it. Do you know who did? No, I don't. I don't. Just my friend uh, sent me this position. Okay, so you ready? Have, you have it set up, do you? Yeah, set up here. It's Can I here. take part? Can I take part as well? Yeah, sure, okay. sure. Everyone, get yourself. But it's very some difficult. It's very difficult. All right, <laughs> I know. Okay, two grandmasters solve it in thirty seconds. Can I? Can I tell how many? Of it took me two can. minutes and. First wrong answer. <laughs> For yourself? Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid to do it. Anyone else here going to take part in this competition? Yeah? Everyone here? Okay, just make sure it's really checkmate. Why to move? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I oh. told you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's why it no, took me two minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why is turn? 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 Why No. We need like the Jeopardy music here or it's just, Maybe I'm wrong. I've just read it down. Wow, here. this is... Uh, wow. I'm very impressed. Grandmaster <laughs> Conquest. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> hey, wow. hey, come on! Actually, come this on. is probably the second best answer after uh, Maxim Vachirov. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow, I'm very impressed. Huh? Seriously. But it was luck because I mean there's so many... Let's have a think about this. <laughs> I can't believe wow. that's the only one. Okay, Bishop D6. Why Bishop D6 not checkmate? It's not? It's not. Bishop D6 is King not. Sure. You're right. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. But I can't Good believe it's the only. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, what you think uh, Maxim said? Uh, what did I, I didn't think I knew <laughs> this part. I knew it's really mm. something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I like the D. Ah, I start to understand. Because the pill is pinned. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it. You've got it? Macaulay, From audience? Got <laughs> Macaulay, you have to write it down, huh? <laughs> write it down, come on. Let him write it down. So what about our audience? Someone from audience got it or not? We're not this saying it. This, this, this is my first, my first on-camera appearance. Uh, <laughs> 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 my hand. The hand of Macaulay. <laughs> Coming into focus. <laughs> this is a great position. I yeah, this is a very good. And usually, I like to ask Grandmaster how many seconds you need. It then takes them minutes <laughs> to solve. <laughs> so don't be upset. Five minutes is like normal. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me see what you read. Can I show the camera? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I'm Can wrong. I show the so camera? So, what about our internet audience? Have, do we have like answers from internet? Brilliant. Yeah. Well, actually. Uh, okay, but maybe, but maybe don't read them. I'll just say. I'll just say uh, we have. Uh, Samitis said the same. Well, said something. Yeah. I guess I can't read You're it out. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, this is amazing. Yeah, Brilliant. I love it. Some <laughs> sorry. It's good to make fun of, you know, people on grandmasters. Come on, this is, uh, <laughs> is this a legal position? It, like, it probably is, yeah? Yeah, why, 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 why not? It's kind of Lots you know, of bishops. People, people look sometimes in the pawn, they can take. Sure. OK, guys, what about bishop h4? Is it checkmate? 
Rook G5. Yes, Rook G5. There is about like 15 fake checkmates. Hmm. Okay, just write it down. Write it down somewhere. Okay. Ju <laughs> <laughs> so we have to get. Write it Queen down. Queen G5. It was my answer. That's how I solved this puzzle. But I told you it was wrong. Oh. <laughs> my second answer was right. <laughs> this is ho how I solved this. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> what about black to play and draw? <laughs> 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 So we have. Well, we it's have interesting because, here. you know, of course, you have to kind of immediately rule out the obvious move. So, you know, you look at d8 queen, of course, but then you overlook the bishop is pinning That's the ball. What, what, what's wrong with d8 queen? Yeah. Mm. It's pinned, yes. Yeah. That's what's, what's particularly crafty about this puzzle. Oops. Wow, it's, it's let you play a Lego. Ah, oh, sorry. That's incredible. That move is not made. D takes C8 equals queen. Yes, it's that's not checkmate. It's incredible that it's not made. Actually. Yeah, it's like so many fake checkmates. Yeah. They put like bishop okay, on Okay, who can tell me why is that move not made? D takes C8 equals why, queen. Why, this not why is it not checkmate? Anyone? Uh, king eats, 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 eats. Bishop G2. Oh, B7. Bishop yes. B7 is the move, huh? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, like sort of like 10, 10 fake checkmates. Bishop B7. Just, just show that real quick. Just, if just show that. Real, just make that move, Anna. If pawn takes if queen, takes equals queen. Just show the interposition. The yeah. Guys, if you solve it, just let let us know. You solve it? Well, I don't know. Well, I'm going to have a go. Okay, we have a, no, a new guess online. Anna. <laughs> okay, if you're sure it's checkmate, just. Uh, <laughs> yes. Queen three. Queen three. Queen three. We have it from audience uh, online. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. That was also from yeah. some, some Mitzi <laughs> online, Queen A3, yeah. Queen A3, yes. Here it is, guys. Stuart yeah. Conquest, yeah. Queen A3. <laughs> Here, wait, I, I <laughs> put it <laughs> just to prove it, just to prove I, I it. Okay. it. Come on. <laughs> wow. Queen A3. Well, it's, it's amazing. It's, Queen it's A3 hard to do, checkmate. actually, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. So, to what is your name? Andrew. Uh, to Andrew, right? Yeah. yeah, to Andrew who sold it. Yeah, and what I like about this puzzle that uh, pawn is on b2. Sometimes we think we, we may think that pawn can take win, right? That pawn can uh, go a different direction and. And the pawn is there to stop black's queen taking on a3, of course, as well. Yes. <laughs> so just amazing uh, puzzle for you know for club to to show and to enjoy That's chess. That's the only amazing one. <laughs> the most difficult checkmate in one ever, as I <laughs> as I know. Hmm. So which Grand Masters didn't uh, gave the wrong answer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's Come on, a let's lot. Have some names. My husband, my husband. Your husband got it wrong, yeah? Did he get no, it? No, no, no. He got it right, but it took him a uh, sure. minute or a minute and a half. And I know a lot of the Grand Masters who didn't solve it in five minutes. Mm. <laughs> and that, that's the only mate in the position, right? It's only, only mate. One. This is strange. McCall, did, did anyone online find us? Yeah, well, one guy. Uh, one guy. Congratulations. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, probably not though, because it would take longer to set it up in Fritz <laughs> than it would exactly. to solve and it, maybe. You know what is amazing about this part? I have shown this one to Books and G, Chinese Grandmaster, and like he sold it after <laughs> also like minute or two. <laughs> they were together with another Chinese uh, Grandmaster, and then he said, "Okay, this is interesting. If I would be able to set it up, by <laughs> To set it up on the board, and From he did memory. almost right. Okay, uh, one really? round, one round piece. Wow. But I think like no, <laughs> no one will be able to remember this position, That's right? That's impressive. <laughs> set it up afterwards. Yeah, it's like it, it was it very it impressive. Is that then because it defies so much sort of chess logic that that you've learned over the yeah, years? there is no logic. It's just pure <laughs> calculation. <Yeah. and laughs> so it would be difficult to have a look at this position, even if you've studied it for some while, and then go and set it up on a board. Yes. Yes. So it's interesting. It's a it's it's very interesting position, and what I like, there are so many fake checkmates. You think move like this can be checkmate, but it's not checkmate. Why? King's, King's. King of eight, exactly, yes. 
So there is a mo no, and of course everyone wants to promote queen, and mm. it's pinned. What about knight? Yeah. Yes, king eight, king eight. Yeah, that's what I missed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. some, yeah, someone is. I like that bishop back to b7. That's fantastic. Okay, this is how I solved this puzzle. I, I thought queen g5 was checkmate, <laughs> but then I realized queen a3. So who was the person who showed you this position? Okay, but some, uh, we have some friends in Germany, and mm -hmm. he saw he saw this position on some chess forum somewhere. We had a suggestion online of knight b6, but I think uh, he was overlooking the bishop. Yeah, that's why I think they knight put Knight g6. Knight g6, yes. Okay, knight g6, I understand. That's why they put bishops far away, make sure that you, so you will never solve it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, yes. <laughs> yeah. So this is... Okay, more chess puzzles or... Do you have any more for us? Yeah, sure. Oh, come on, fantastic. <laughs> wow, brilliant. Or some other strategy. That was amazing. Strategy. That was amazing, really. Incredible. Okay, position set up. Okay, my favorite. I think it should be here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till you're done before I show up because I don't want to give anybody a head start. <laughs> All right, so get so if you're following online, get your uh, pen and paper caps ready. on again, your pen and paper ready. <laughs> Turn off right. any and all chess engines. Okay, Absolutely. This, is, this, this is a puzzle uh, pretty famous, I think. Maybe you have seen this one before. I think I'm correct. Do you know who, who this is by also? No, no, but... That's, that's it, it. You got But it. it's possible to find out. I you think got it correctly it. there? That's right? Yeah, it's correct, I think. Okay, here we go, everybody. It's white to move and wins. White to move and win. Right, I don't, I don't think I've seen this. You haven't seen this? Okay, in five, maybe. <laughs> There is a very few pieces on the board. The black pawn is going to queen. Yes, the black, of course. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty much next move if you let it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, first move is pretty obvious, probably, right? Well, let's have, let people have a think first because <laughs> you're very quick at this, huh? You're very good at this. Okay, I sold it. <laughs> I'm not very quick, but I just yeah. like it. I remember when I was when I was a kid and, and having lessons. Um, the, 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 the man who taught me once a week, he would mm -hmm. always leave me four positions to solve. Mm -hmm. And there would always be two tactical, let's say, middle game positions. Yes. And two end game studies, these kind of you know tactical end game positions. Um, I like study where it's like which looks natural. Yes, exactly. Okay, <laughs> this. Well, it's, it looks natural. Mm. Why not? Actually, yes, I like it with very few pieces, but the answer is well, unfortunately. So no black is threatening to queen, right, with an immediate draw. If it were black's move, uh, he would just make a queen and. Did you solve it already? Oh, I can see if how it starts. I can imagine <laughs> how it's uh, what's going to happen. Just to make sure it's I have correct setup, right? <laughs> <laughs> Night where? Okay, knight e4, yes, this is the only move to stop uh, pawn. Knight e4, and of course, if g1 uh, queen, then knight f2. Checkmate. So black has only one move to defend, f2 square. How? Knight d3, right? Silence. <laughs> Silence. So black threatens to draw again with g1 equals queen. Check. Okay, uh, something about this puzzle. You know, if it's a uh, gun on stage, it will shoot sooner or later, right? Yeah, Chekhov <laughs> said that, I believe. Yeah, is that from Chekhov? If there's gun on stage, it was going to be shot. Yes. I read that recently somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, some, it's something like this. It's from Chekhov, I think. Yeah, Probably, he said that. Yes. Yeah, that if there's if there's a gun on the s on the set on the on the stage, it, at some point it's going to be fired. Yes, exactly. This is what if it's night on H seven. 
<laughs> it should be something about this night, so sooner or later. Oh, I read that in the book by Averbach, uh, his autobiography. Oh. By Yuri <laughs> Averbach, and he mentioned that he went to see uh, a Czech, that his wife or something had seen uh, Chekhov's wife act, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, wow. when she was a young girl. I thought girl. it was English, but something it's from Chekhov, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, well, so, I didn't know. I think so. You know, okay. you know that Averbach turns 90 in uh, eight oh. days. He turns 90 in eight days. Wow. Nine days, February 8th, I think. Fantastic. Yuri Averbach. Yeah, I just finished reading his um, biography that was recently came wow. out like a year ago, I think. He's another plus chess living agent. Do you know? Do you know Yuri? Have you met him, or do you know him much about uh, him? Or? Okay, uh, I, m I met him uh, once in Moscow, but I don't know much about mm. him. Well, I have an interview with him coming out in Chess Life magazine. That's how I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is great that we have here uh, Viktor Korchno. It's just amazing. Fantastic, yeah. It's and fantastic. he won today, I believe. Viktor won today against Manuel Bosbaum. Wow. Very <laughs> exciting game. Uh, and Viktor won, finally. I like how he explained he's always fighting and, mm. you know, like attacking chess. It's wonderful. So we're giving people lots of time to uh, solve Okay, this so this 1907 needs to come into the game, yeah? And the hundreds of people watching online are silent. Oh, they're silent. Good <laughs> thinking. <laughs> hey, is it the right position, Anna? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. You turns didn't out, solve it yet? Turns out the king's on A8 or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need the Jeopardy music, you know? <laughs> I didn't quite solve it. I, I can guess. But I didn't quite say that. Not yet. Wait, wait. Hang okay, say it, say it, say it. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I will give you a hint. No, no, no. By no, final no. position, it <coughs> will be Zug Zwang. Hmm. That helps. <laughs> yeah, it will help you. Stuck here. Yeah. The mating one was easier. <laughs> Queen H3. Queen H3 suggested. So this would be a good move, but G1 is with a check. This is the problem. If king would be somewhere else, then uh, knight g3 and uh, the problem g1 queen with a check. Well, we have a suggestion of queen e3. Hmm. Okay, very Interest close. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> very close to right square. It's not, it's not queen oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got, got it. it. Yeah, Do no. you like it? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Queen e1? No, stupid. Fantastic. No, queen e1? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> queen f2 is a free queen? You want to give up queen? You know, my, like my my students already know if I'm saying this, <laughs> it should be the right answer. <laughs> well, then we have a knight, a knight g3 check after that. Yes, queen f2. That's beautiful. I've never seen this before. <laughs> of course, if g1 queen, then it's without check, or then we can play knight g3. So the only one move for black is to take queen. Hang on, what about knight f1? Could we try that? Knight f1. Then queen h4 check, and knight g3, mm -hmm. if we go back. Sure. So black has to and take. Let's uh, someone in our audience finish it. Someone here in the Caletta Hotel. Take a knight. Knight <laughs> <laughs> g3 check. OK. Knight g5. And now. Come on, you have no threats. <laughs> 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 what do you want to do next? Move. Move the king, <laughs> move the king. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. It's typical so it's beautiful, huh? Chekhovian, Chekhovian <laughs> finish. Yeah. Five. Wow. Do you know who okay. composed that position? Any other who composed it? I don't know. I can ask someone. I don't know. We can ask someone online. Anybody yeah, uh, online knows who composed this problem? Composer. I don't know how you would, you would go about looking that up, though. Of course, mm. <laughs> it's, you can't I Google mean, this image or something <laughs> <laughs> and try to find it. I don't know. It's tough. Maybe somebody knows. Somebody's. I found that quite hard. I didn't see Queen F2. <laughs> Until someone, so someone has said Queen F2. You were looking at checkmate in one. <laughs> we'll, ask, we'll ask John Nunn or... Uh, Baburin yes, or somebody. Yes, exactly. Maybe he knows for sure. Yohanan Afek. Mm. Yes, exactly. Queen F2, wow. Okay, one more, or this is it? <laughs> Have we got time for one more, Anna? Yeah, yeah we, one more. I'd love one more. <laughs> Absolutely. Did anyone in our um, internet audience, Macaulay, find that move? No, Queen no, F2? no one got that. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. Okay, this one is my, uh, very famous. Maybe you you've seen this one before. Okay, where is going? I think here. You know, I uh, I went to uh, Kasparov chess foundation training session in New York and they would start each day uh, by setting up a study kind of like this for a okay. class of six or seven top American youth talents and uh, that was uh, kind of their warm-up for uh, these training sessions in New York uh, that they've done uh, once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah I've been there once. It's by Mm -hmm. So by Su Susan Polgar was doing, right, sometimes, no? No, no, Kasparov. Ah, Kasparov was yeah. doing, wow. Kasparov Chess Foundation. Kasparov. Mm. So this is the position? Okay, this is the position, why to move and wins. Okay, why to play and win. Again, I don't recognize this. You cannot... Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, win is a very weak piece, like, in general. <laughs> Why to move? <coughs> okay, I heard. Uh, I will show uh, first move. Bishop no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can just. No, no. I, I just heard the right move. Bishop d two, right? Bishop d2 correct, preparing rook d3. But what's the problem with this move? Yeah. Still my tricks, eh? Queen h8 check. Queen h8 check, yes. Okay, I already told you it was correct move, but... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> if it's true, it's beautiful. But, uh, <laughs> it is true. <laughs> I like Gregory Serper reaction on this puzzle. And I see the answer, but I still cannot believe it's working. <laughs> it's working, yes. I saw Bishop D2, Queen B5 as a possible defense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Yeah. So, what about. Rook? Yes? I don't know. You say Bishop D2 was right. So, Queen H8, Rook E5, C3. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> we already got winner <laughs> here. <laughs> you should give up some prizes. Well, I have some passports here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can pick up uh, like any passport you like. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a Canero Hampe passports. Can you know? We have chocolate. Expensive? You know, I I, I, have, <laughs> I have this chocolate. Yeah. This was a, 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 yeah, Macaulay, a gift. A <laughs> well, it was a gift from from you, and and I Whoa. I wanted to encourage uh, the players to come down to show their games because we haven't had that the last couple of times. <laughs> right. So I put it there so that when anyone comes to show their game, we give yeah, them some I chocolate. I think Anna certainly deserves some chocolate. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Okay, guys. I've been Queen eating it. I've been eating it as well, by the way. <laughs> Once again, do you see right answer? Rook, e5. Of course, if Queen h1, just Rook e1. 
And the problem with, of, of course... Well, you, you say of course, but let's just look at that. So rookie, rookie five here. Because if c3, queen, h1, correct, and white loses. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, queen takes h1 because you don't have any other move, right? What is white threatening? What is white threatening? Actually, c3, <laughs> probably. Yeah, but anyway, take and c3. And what I like, that queen in the middle of the board but cannot do anything against bishop and pawn. <laughs> there is no check. <laughs> so I told you, queen is a very weak piece in general. <laughs> you need to get rid of this piece as soon as you can. <laughs> yeah. And just go back one move there, Anna, just to... Okay, this is, a, this is the only one move because we need uh, to stop checkmate from first rank. Hmm. So now the idea is if queen h1 check, you block with the bishop. No, with the rook probably. The rook. And then queen back to h8? Then c3. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I can play c3 so I have no checkmate with the friend. c3. Yeah, but there is no pieces on the board. It's queen in the middle on the per almost on perfect square and cannot stop checkmate from c1. And of course this end game is easily winning. Unusually, because of where the black king is, yeah. Yeah, so b5 now probably it's better to wait. It's just king b1 or, <laughs> or bishop d2, right? Mm. Right, you're right, bishop d2 is possible. It's also I nice don't know, if you're very cruel, if you're very cruel, you can play a move like this, right? <laughs> 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 and bishop c5. <laughs> so it's... Okay, la last, uh, prop okay, not puzzle, I will show just some funny story, which, r real, real story, some position. <coughs> it was uh, in some chess book. I can see why you, you, you might be very good at blindfold chess because you have a good recall, of <laughs> sort of quick recall of positions. I mean, I couldn't remember these positions in the, uh, you know, five, five if years I would, later. If I would remember uh, this uh, checkmate in one, I would probably be able to play 100 boards by yeah. okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this the world's record is only, what, 46? Blindfold yes. from a German FIDE master. Yeah but, yeah, but I will try to do like a woman world record in blindfold. Uh -huh. Good idea. <laughs> Okay, this is a real story. Usually uh, I'm asking like, what is, was your, the longest game, chess game you ever played? How many hours did you play? Seven and a half. Seven and a half? Okay, this game was also about like seven and a half. It was uh, our USSR championship, was two grand masters. I won't tell the name of uh, the person who was playing <laughs> with white pieces. It was very important team competition. And it was uh, seven hours, everyone was very tight, and guess which move for white played here? Knight c6. Knight c6, of course. Knight oh, <laughs> c6, oh, no. rook takes c6. Okay, she was very upset, but uh, coach says, okay, f uh, it will be drawn now. It will be drawn now, draw is good for the team. And, and then the lady was thinking 15 minutes and played knight before. And after rook c8, and oh, no. thinking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> 20 more minutes. Really? <laughs> yes. Knight c6. Knight c6. And, this, and then she started crying and her coach was a very cruel person. So he brought like all knights from another board and put them on the board. You can say like <laughs> one was not enough. You can sacrifice 10 if yeah. you need. <laughs> yeah, but what happens when you're really tired? <laughs> it's a true story. True story, yeah? It was in a book. Yes, it was. Maybe position Sound, is true, It sounds like a legend. No, no, it was true story. It was true story, and I will not tell you the name again. That sounds like the kind of story that the coach t tells a student, you know, to give him nightmares. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't there when it took place. No, no, it was before I was born. Even. Mm, okay. 
Okay, now I will have. Uh, I will show you my nightmare. La last one. <laughs> Uh, after this game, I was able to, it was uh, Ukrainian Junior World Championship. And after this game, it was in first round, I lost. But I was able to take first place and qualify to the Junior World Championship, which was a very big deal for me back this year. I think it's amazing that Anna can just be here and just pull up positions from your memory. I mean, the, the major one you had prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but all these positions you just uh, came in like this, you know? Mm, I amazing. like them, so yeah. it's my nightmare, my the probably my chess move. It, I was playing with black, black to move and lose. Black to move and lose? Yes, come the on. only one move which loses in this position. Come on, how can you lose <laughs> My this? nightmare. I was, my father almost had a heart attack, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that <laughs> man on the back is great. Andy, you're just really <laughs> yeah, you need a lot of candy for him, so do something. <laughs> oh, why? Wow. But we couldn't, we couldn't hear that online, probably. Okay, great. Back to playing Okay, loose. guys, if you see the answer, just... Maybe not everybody heard, no. right? Okay. So and only, only move one move that only loses. Only one move in this position loses. But After all other moves, uh, I would be able to save the game. Well, save the game, win the game. Okay, win the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 My nightmare. Who was this against, Anna? Okay, it was... Uh, no, the, the girl is it's very funny. I think this girl only beat first and second place. And then she lost all other <laughs> games. Oh, so wow. she beat me and Zhukova. <laughs> okay, just... Yeah. Guys, do you see the answer? Yeah. Why B6 loses? Do you see? Why B6 loses? Oh, sorry. B5, and I won't be able. So now such moves I remember. <laughs> yeah. So I remember my feeling. I thought, okay, why my opponent doesn't resign? Because we we're already, already pretty, pretty strong chess players. I thought, okay, I will have pass pawn and another side on queen side and she will just resign <laughs> instead it was me who resigned <laughs> how old were you when this took place uh, i was 13. Mm. so you you have the wrong color to move is that why it's it's not letting you play it or so what sit again you, you can't play b6 because the color the wrong color to move no 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 b6 b5 b4. no no, no I, I just mean to show ah yes 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 exactly can you, can you just change that yeah i can i will show yeah. Because it would be nice to show that. <laughs> yes. You could have given up chess after this game, Anna. Yeah, but I, I took first place after the, beating my all like main rivals. Mm. <laughs> I remember I was playing with. Uh, okay, Natalia Zhukova was my main rival, and uh, we lost. Okay. We both lost to this <laughs> girl. <same> thing, yeah. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Mm, sure. Yeah, so, you know, obviously these don't happen to you very often, but it happens to us <laughs> more often than, than you, right? I'm guessing. Like making big blunders, winning games, making big blunders and end up losing them. That's very tough to swallow, right? How would you recommend players to, to best bounce back, you know, from such blunders? Okay, in, in, this, in this position, first of all, always I calculate a move like this, b6, uh, b5. I just uh, learned my lesson for, uh, from this. And first, first of all, especially when uh, you have a winning position, it's very difficult to win. I know very often we relax, we think I have winning position, just uh, do not pay enough attention. You have to keep, uh, be, uh, keep concentration till the very end of the game. And the best way to recover, I don't know, maybe to... <laughs> watch some movie or know that uh, this happened to everyone <laughs> and i don't know just learn to learn from your mistakes and try to figure out why it happened to you especially i know when uh, people have winning positions th they just play carelessly yeah. very often just uh, the most difficult part is to win winning position yeah. it's also from which book <laughs> from overbach may overbach, from overbach or <laughs> Or yeah. <laughs> the most difficult part in chess is to win winning positions still, unfortunately. So you mentioned a little bit about some, you, do you still teach or you have a lot of students in the States? Uh, no, uh, I got married and we spent more time in Germany. Okay. 
But so you said you teach. You have students in Germany. Do you teach a lot or on the internet? No, no, or? very few, very, very few. few. So okay. I will start uh, teaching more on the internet probably. So it's mm. yes, I was I was teaching Long Island. I really had a lot of students. If they're watching me, I would like in to Long say Island. hello. Okay. <laughs> and what is this T-shirt you're wearing? KVQ. Okay, this is T-shirt. <laughs> Can you see it's from St. Louis Chess Club, the best chess club in the world, probably? <laughs> <laughs> Can I do some advertisement? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have wonderful US championship there, and we have also Macaulay uh, is an uh, Iranian uh, TV show. We want to have US championship in May. I invite everyone to follow. We have wonderful commentary, too. And um, I'm very glad that in the United States we have new sponsor and US championships mm -hmm. or organized excellently. Excellent. It's very good, and I'm delightful to come to St. Louis this year too. And what about the sort of the, the, the female game in in the states? I mean, you, you live in Germany now, but are you still in touch with the sort of the rising young? Yes, and uh, actually, in, in America, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, the idea was we will uh, live in Germany for a while, just for a little bit, and then go back <laughs> to United States. But now probably we will stay longer in Germany. Mm. And okay, I'm an American citizen, and. <laughs> spending more time in Germany than in the United States nowadays this year. Okay, it happens and uh, I was born in Ukraine. Okay. <laughs> My native language is Russian. So American citizen living in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Just thrown it open to questions online, so I, I hope we'll get uh, one or two in a second. But I, I have one, which is, uh, when are you going to get the Grandmaster title? Mm. Oh, I hope someday. <laughs> You have you have some GM norms? No, I don't. You don't I don't. Have I any have GM my norms? rating over twenty five hundred, but I don't yes. have any GM norm. This is strange, I know, but yeah, normally uh, someone will get a norm and then have to get their rating over twenty five hundred. Sometimes more often than not. Okay, uh, I hope I hope I will get rating first, <laughs> and it happens someday. And it's very difficult to maintain rating over twenty five hundred, and it's. Do you have any chances of a norm here in this tournament? No. no. <laughs> I lost yesterday badly to some to Indian girl which played. She played with a pretty strong, but after this game I think I lost some ch all chances. Mm. Okay, maybe where? I don't know. <laughs> maybe Chess Olympiad? We'll see. Okay, here's a question uh, from Tactic Spotter, who I know was eagerly anticipating this uh, masterclass, was talking about it all throughout our broadcast. Um, before attorney, do you give yourself goals to reach? I guess he means, uh, he or she means uh, some specific score that you're aiming for in a tournament? <laughs> okay, I'm trying, oh, before this tournament, uh, I try to study chess. And um, yes, usually I have. For this tournament, like in Gibraltar, it's very difficult to have a goal. Uh, for example, what is goal to, to win it? It's, it's impossible, right, for me. <laughs> With uh, you did Polgar playing <laughs> and Hoi Fan. And my goal was to increase some rating points, to win some woman <laughs> prize, to show good chess. And, uh, but of course, when I will play US Championship, I will have a more specific goal. <laughs> okay. But you're still, you must still be very ambitious when, when you sit down. Uh, I mean, you know that you can beat Judith or who you found if you play your best and you have a bad day. I mean, you know, you're strong enough to do that. Okay, I hope. No? <laughs> but I'm, ver I'm very, very impressed with Hoi Fan mm. in this tournament. Okay, with you, uh, Judith Polgar, I'm impressed in general. <laughs> but it, with Hoi Fan, with your recent chess, it's just, uh, it's excellent. She's now beaten three 2,700 players in this event. This is just amazing. Fan. I think this is the first time in her life. It's her best performance ever. He pla she played very, very good, but this tournament is just uh, excellent for her. <laughs> mm. And what do you think about this tournament in Gibraltar, the, the mix of very high-ranking females and strong, well, world-class male players? Because it seems that the females do, you know, I mean, the women do, do well in Gibraltar almost Okay, this year. question you should ask probably Peter Swidler. <laughs> because he played five girls? Or <laughs> yes. Or <what>? yeah. <laughs> He played five uh, girls uh, from eight rounds, and I think tomorrow, he most one. likely, he's going <laughs> to get another girl. <laughs> this is this question you should ask him because, <laughs> yeah, f for me it's wonderful. It's probably I would call it an official world championship, maybe because wow. like so many strong female players are play participating. Well, so we have the world's top four at the moment, and I think seven of the top ten. Yes. It's yeah. What was your highest? Is, you, is your highest rating now two five oh six? Or have you been no, no, I, I was high. I was uh, number seven in the world okay. uh, this summer. 
now I am 15 probably. So, mm. we'll see. It's very difficult. I just go to last year over 2,500. It's, it's difficult rating to maintain. It's like for men over 2,700. So it's <laughs> very high competition. And what's it like? Of your husband's a very strong grandmaster. Do you train together? Do you study chess together? How does that work? <laughs> Uh, we used to study chess. Of course, uh, he's given me some advices before the game about openings, and uh, but we don't study chess at home. Just wake up and study chess <laughs> for six <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I remember when uh, before we were married, uh, we were married before we were dating. He tried to impress me just you know to show openings and <laughs> <laughs> preparing me before the games. <laughs> Well, How romantic. Yeah. <laughs> and then you married the guys. <laughs> yes. <Sorry. laughs> it's like a romantic for some romance for chess players. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions okay. here from our live audience before we uh, wrap up or, or maybe online with Colleen? Just to, because um, Anna's been here a long time now, but uh, any final questions here, perhaps? Macaulay, yeah. no? Well, one question, but I, I don't quite understand it, but I'll, I'll ask it anyway. Uh, may, might get a cl I asked for a clarification, but Silent Rook says, do you, I, maybe this is a reference to blindfold, I'm not sure. Do you remove pieces from the board in your mind to work out tactics? I'm not sure hmm. what that means. No, no, probably pieces? he's asking if when I was studied some tactics puzzles, if I'm moving pieces or not. Uh, do you move them? He says, no, do you move remove? But he might mean, do you move the pieces? Yeah, yeah. that's possible. Of, of course, when I started tactics, I don't move pieces because this is the point of uh, studying. You're not supposed to analyze or put on freeze. <laughs> so, of course, uh, uh, when I studied chess a lot, I, I did a lot of uh, tactics and a lot of d very difficult uh, uh, puzzles like mm. this. And what about writing? Have you written any books or do you have any plans to write any books, chess books? Okay, I have a plan, but I didn't write any book. Do you want to tell us what the plan is? Uh, no, it's still secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I will really write it. And, but I, I talked to my friend and maybe we, we will some write some book. All right. Yeah, well, still thinking. Do you have a book? I don't, no. Maybe we should Why? work together on a book. Yeah, great. <laughs> great opportunity. <laughs> no, I don't, I've never written a book, but I'm also... Yeah, it'd be nice to do one. I think every strong player or every player who really loves chess should maybe at least write yeah, one book, you know? Everyone who has something to share. I mean, you've just positioned yourself yeah, to like <laughs> these, these little stories as well are quite nice, I think. Yeah. You know? Okay, well, I think we'll leave it there. Okay, uh, Anna, thanks thank everyone you very, very for much. joining us tonight.